Hey guys, in this video today I'll be going through differentiation in C3, in particular the product rule. Now, the product rule is stated as follows. dy dx is equal to u times by dv dx plus v multiplied by du dx. Okay, it's worth memorizing this formula. Um, I'm sure with practice it will come by itself and it may be in your formula book in the exam. I'm not too sure on that, but there's no harm in just memorizing this formula. Okay, so we use the product rule when there's more than one x term, when they're being multiplied together. Um, I'll try and explain this um, on the right here. So normally um, when we have the case, a simple case like y is equal to sine x, we can differentiate this and this gives us dy dx is equal to cos x. Now, for instance, what happens if I said y is equal to x sine x? Here we've got the product of two x terms, the x and the sine x. Um, and in this case, we use the product rule to differentiate this kind of question. Okay, so I'll do a couple of examples just to make sure that it does make sense and you're confident enough to know when to use the product rule. So, the first example I have is y is equal to x sine x. Here we've got the product of two x terms, x and sine x. So, in this case, we would use the product rule. So, what's the method of using the product rule? Um, okay, so first of all, what I would do is I would say u is equal to the first x term, in this case, x. I would then say v is equal to the next x term, in this case, sine x. Okay, I would then differentiate u with respect to x, um, and that gives me 1 and this is because we need this du dx over here. We also need dv dx, so I would say dv dx is equal to cos x. And then we multiply u with dv dx and v, and then add on v multiplied with du dx. So dy dx is equal to u multiplied by dv dx, which is cos x and it's plussed onto v multiplied by du dx, which is just sine x. Okay, so that's the product rule being used for this question here. Um, it's quite simple, this question, and um, I hope you found this one okay. I'll go on to the example two. Okay. So, this one is a bit more harder because we may have to use the chain rule in this one as well. But nevertheless, we'll fight through this one, let's have a look. Okay, so in this case, um, the first x term is this one, which is multi being multiplied by this term here. Okay, so first thing I would say is u is equal to x squared. And since there's an x within this term here, I would say v is equal to 2x squared plus 1, 2 all squared. And then as before, I need du dx, so du dx is equal to 2x, dv dx, here I'm just going to use the chain rule, okay, and that gives me um, 8x, 2x squared, plus 1, like so, okay, so now dy dx is equal to this multiplied by this, so it's x squared multiplied by 8x, 2x squared plus 1, and then we add this term here multiplied by this term, which is 2x, 2x squared plus 1, or squared, and this can be simplified or kind of worked out to be 8x cubed, 2x squared plus 1 plus 2x, 2x squared plus 1 all squared. So that's how we would do this one. This one was a bit more tricky because we had to use the chain rule here. And for you those who've forgotten the chain rule, dy dx is equal to du dx multiplied by dy du. Okay. So, I'll go on to the next example. Okay, here we've got a fraction, and more commonly, people use the 
quotient rule, I believe, to work out differentiation when there's a fraction. However, there's a, I find the quotient rule a little bit longer than the product rule. And so I always use the product rule, even though I have a fraction. And using the laws of indices, what we can say this is equal to is y is equal to 2x, open bracket, 4x squared, plus 1, all to the power of minus 1. So now what we've done is we've said, okay, we've got this term being multiplied by this term, which has an x in it. So we can say, why not use the product rule now? So again, we say u is equal to 2x, v is equal to 4x squared plus 1 to the power of minus 1. du dx is equal to 2. dv dx, here I'm using the chain rule to work this out, which is equal to minus 8x, 4x squared plus 1 to the power of minus 2. Okay, so now it's just a matter of using the formula dy dx is equal to du dx um, multiplied by v, or sorry, I'll start be consistent with this formula here, uh, minus 8x, 4x squared, plus 1, to power minus 2, multiplied by 2x, so this is this bit here, and then plus du dx times by v, which is equal to 2, 4x squared, plus 1, minus 1. And this can be written as 2, 4x squared, plus 1, to the power minus 1, minus 16x squared, 4x squared, plus 1, to the power of minus 2. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Um, the best thing with the product rule again is to practice, practice, practice. I hope I've helped um, and making you understand what the product rule is and when to use it. Um, have a great day. Thank you very much.